I've seen a, a number of them along the path, but they're all closed up. They haven't actually got anything. Here's there. another interesting plant that you know, if you go through this process, you learn things. So I have a degree in horticulture, right? You learned all about lawn pests and plantain in your lawn, plantago major, and everything was, you know, plantago major. Well, then working on this project, I noticed that there was a plantago rubellii. Hardly any herbarium specimens, and like you're trying to sort this out, and it's like, you know, is it hard to find or whatever? Well, suddenly when we do the sorting out, I realize that like an urban area, the native, and they can grow in your lawn and be a pest, is more common than the non-native. And here it is right here. This is Plantago rugelii. And the way you can check it out right away, see how red the stems are? That's diagnostic for the native plantain. And they are edible too. You can cook them and eat them. Uh, but that's plenty of time we got. So suddenly here, going through the work and all that, I realized that that's far more native than the weedy species. But in horticulture, it's a weed pest. So they're all just hot to kill them all. Dangerous wildlife. Don't feed them. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm yeah. scared. <laughs> That's just a spaniel, a terrifying spaniel. <laughs> he says, I want more. I gotta bring my dog here next time. You gotta try coming down here with the fur. Alright, Rowdy. Big tongue. He's showing off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's like, he's now he's just still for the photo op. <laughs> Hi!